Federal investigators are here on scene a day after the plane crashed into the home. You can see the crane is here as well, getting ready to remove the plane. And right now it's still unclear what caused it to crash. We saw removal crews get on the roof of this home, strapping cables to the plane. This quiet neighborhood just feet away from Gilbert Airport in Winter Haven was busy Sunday as people came out to watch and take pictures of the scene. It only took crews about an hour to lift the small twin engine plane, and you could see just how extensive the damage to the home was. The plane crashing into a bedroom yesterday afternoon, pinning and trapping a 17 year old girl inside. First responders rescuing her. Thankfully, she wasn't seriously hurt. The instructor pilot died in the crash. The student pilot on board and everyone else at the home survived. That is a miracle. John Reed is a local pilot and he was at the airport yesterday, but didn't see the crash. Investigators say the two pilots were training and simulating engine failure. Right now, it's unclear if that had anything to do with the crash. Reed says that's part of a pilot's training. Basically, it's it's practicing what would you do? How do you make your turns if your engine goes out? Uh, because you know, you don't have power, so you're strictly on altitude and speed is all you have working on your side. Now that the plane is removed, federal investigators will try to figure out what caused it to crash into this home. In Polk County, Amanda Castro getting results. News 6.